hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today's video would be a review video and in today's video i would be talking about a new kajal that is recently launched in the market by the brand shimboard now i haven't talked about a lot of products from the brand in my videos apart from i guess a nail polish video that i have by the brand if you're interested in uh, seeing the nail swatches of shimboard uh, nail polishes that i have in my collection then i would be linking that video in the description box on below and somewhere here on the i button but apart from that uh, i haven't uh, talked about any of the products by the brand i do own three shades from their liquid lipstick collection and i absolutely love them the brand recently launched their new formula for kajal which is called the spectacle le kajal i think that is how it is pronounced so yes this is something that i would be talking about in today's video it is not a first impression video because i have uh, tried this kajal a couple of times before and it is the one that i'm currently wearing this particular kajal retails for 180 rupees and uh, according to the brand it is a smudge proof kajal which is waterproof and which can stay up to 24 hours now honestly saying i haven't tried the kajal for 24 hours but i have tried this kajal for around six to seven hours now whether these claims made by the company are right or wrong i would be talking about that in detail in the upcoming section of the video but uh, before going into all of that let's quickly first talk about the packaging of the kajal so this is how the main packaging of this new shimbor spectacle le kajal looks like uh, the retail price of the kajal is mentioned right here and all the other claims that are made by the company are also mentioned right here like uh, this kajal uh, is supposed to last for 24 hours which is actually a pretty big claim and it is deep black in color that we will just see it is waterproof and it is smudge proof this is also something we can test right away so uh, yes i love how beautiful the outer uh, cardboard thing uh, looks like but again this is a one time thing because i will obviously not store the kajal in this way so yes this is how the outer packaging of the kajal looks like if you flip this packaging all the other details about the product including the list of ingredients is mentioned right here along with the, the date of manufacturing expiry mrp and all the other details you can possibly think of now uh, let's uh, quickly take out this kajal and see how pigmented this is or whether it is as a black as the company claims so this is how the actual uh, kajal looks like it is a retractable pencil and uh, you don't need to sharp this product you can easily use this product uh, simply by uh, twisting the base so yes uh, the packaging is uh, very simple very average now, now let's uh, quickly uh, try this kajal on the back of the hand and see how uh, black this is okay this is very smooth uh, and it is very easy to apply and as you can see it is certainly pretty black now I'll uh, just uh, leave it for a couple of seconds and then we'll try smudging this particular one it has been a while and now we'll see whether this kajal is smudge proof or not so i'll just uh, swirl my finger very lightly here oh, okay so it is not entirely smudge proof now i'll uh, try smudging it a little hardly and as you can see it is not completely smudge proof so uh, the first claim which is made by the company that this is a smudge proof kajal uh, doesn't actually work i'll remove this reapply this and then uh, we'll uh, try the waterproof test as well so now i have reapplied the kajal and i would be uh, dripping some drops of water on it to see whether this particular one is uh, waterproof or not okay so like every other kajal it doesn't actually smudge with just water now i'll try rubbing it a little bit okay so this is not exactly smudge proof but this kajal does seem to be waterproof which is a good thing now uh, let's uh, see how this kajal uh, looks on the eye i'll apply this kajal on my right eye i have already applied my uh, kajal and mascara on the left eye so now i'll uh, uh, show you how this kajal uh, looks like on the right eye I would be applying the same kajal on my upper waterline as well. It is certainly very black. So yes, this is how the kajal uh, looks like on the eyes. Now I'll quickly do uh, my mascara, apply some lipstick, apply some highlighter and I would be right back for my final. Seen how the kajal is packed, you have also seen the kajal in action and I've also talked about the 
claims that are made by the company now uh, this is definitely a very a black sort of a kajal which is one of the claims made by the company the second thing which the brand talks about is the fact that it is waterproof which again certainly it is uh, but unfortunately the claim that it is a smudge proof kajal it's not completely true because i have shown you on the back of my hand that this particular kajal do smudge a little bit even after a few minutes of application so i can't say that it needs time to set and once it is completely set it becomes smudge proof so that is not the case if you decide to buy this particular kajal then keep uh, this thing in mind that it is not 100% smudge proof it might smudge on you personally for me this kajal did not smudge on me and that is because usually no kajal smudge on me i do not sweat a lot around my eyes and that is the reason i personally can work with most of the kajals that are available in the market but if you are somebody who have a very like watery eye and who sweats a lot then this particular kajal would definitely not be a completely smudge proof product for you but yes it certainly would stay throughout the day so uh, if i talk about the claims made by the company there were four main claims that were made by the company and out of the four one of the claims which is being the completely smudge proof one it is not entirely true so the formula of this kajal is definitely very smooth to apply and it is very pigmented but currently it is very hot and humid right here in delhi because of which the formula is actually way too creamy i would say it is so creamy that when i was swatching this particular uh, formula on the back of my hand the tip actually broke the best part is that because it is retractable you would not need to carry a sharpener for this personally for me i did like the kajal decently for me the first preference of a good kajal is it being smooth and really pigmented and for me this particular kajal fulfills both the pointers again talking about the price point it is decently priced it is not uh, the cheapest kajal uh, that is available in the market nor it is very pricey it is somewhere on the average spectrum uh, be it the formula or be it the price point so for me if you are willing to try a new formula of kajal then this particular new launch by shimbor is something that you can go for especially if you are looking for a more affordable a budget friendly sort of option but it might not be the best one that is available in the market i would love to know which is your personal favorite kajal because for me it is definitely the one by mama earth so yes that's it for today's video hope you like today's video if you like today's video do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and do consider subscribing to my channel thank you so much for watching my video namaste